There we go. Is everyone hearing this? Are we are we live? Uh, have you uh, have we got this all worked out? Well, I trust we have. So, um, thanks for joining us tonight. I just sent out the um, a newsletter with the information about reopening. Everyone has been asking. Is everyone hearing this? Are we are we live? Uh, Everyone has been asking uh, what we're doing, um, how it's happening, uh, are we reopening, uh, we're allowed to reopen starting this week, but uh, does that mean we are? So uh, the board has been meeting, uh, we met last night and just trying to work through this and trying to understand the best ways for us to do this. And um, yeah, just, you know, we're, we're um, interested in making it work for everybody, having everybody um, feel comfortable. So let me just go through a few things. First of all, this Sunday, we are going to meet as we have on Zoom. So that doesn't change at all. 10 o'clock worship, we'll have a, a worship uh, time. Uh, Lydia is gonna be leading in worship this Sunday. And then I will um, be sharing the word and sharing a little bit about Big Give and leading in a time of prayer as well. But we've now put together a team, again, made up by the board and, and that we are going to prepare for reopening. Um, you need to know we value everybody's health and safety and well-being in this. Um, and we are very fortunate in Leonard County at the present time, at least according to this time, we have no cases of COVID-19. However, when I spoke with the health unit on the phone on Tuesday, they said we still have to be diligent in uh, keeping physical distancing and, and observing all the guidelines that the province has, has put out. And, and we want to do that. So to that end, um, we will be observing all the guidelines that we are required to by our government, as well as we will put in place any other guidelines that we feel as your leadership team that are essential and necessary. Um, we have an official legal capacity of our building of 105 people. Well, those 105 people, um, you know, is is much less, sorry, a legal capacity of 350, which translate in 30% of that to 105. Uh, well, that's that is more than our average attendance in about 92, 93 before COVID hit. So we could do it physical space wise, no problem. But one of the requirements of government is that there was also physical distancing involved. So we are going to be arranging the chairs for family groups, for couples, for singles, uh, so that everybody is comfortable and seated appropriately. So our suggested reopening uh, what now we're moving towards this date is June 21st. That could change, but but this is our plan. 21st Father's Day is when we will be opening up back at the church. Um, it will be everyone's responsibility, and, and we really, really need to do this, to practice physical distancing when we're in the building, to... Um, Honor those who feel uneasy or apprehensive in any way through this whole pandemic who will be there. And, uh, you know, some people will want to be huggy and all that. And, and, and we really need to watch ourselves. Um, physical distancing is part of the regulations that are they're allowing us to open up, one of the conditions of the regulations. We also will respect as a body of Christ, we will respect each other's personal convictions. We are not going to assume upon anyone um, whether we consider them a weaker brother or sister or, or we consider our stronger. We're not going to judge or, or, or in any way intimidate people who feel apprehensive or uncomfortable. Um, if people want to wear masks, we will allow them to. Um, we are not going to, uh, we're not going to uh, let anyone feel uncomfortable if they want 
to wear masks. Um, we're going to provide sanitizer and, and have places where you can just access little pump things and, and um, sanitize your hands as much as possible. The restrooms will be set up. There'll be a flow in the building um, in all of this and with clear signs and uh, so everybody can understand and see where we're going, where we're coming to, how we need to maneuver and go through. One thing as your pastor I need you to understand is that it is not a measure of anyone's spirituality if they do not feel comfortable coming to a live physical service. We will continue to broadcast the service probably through YouTube and Facebook um, so that if you do not feel comfortable coming, uh, no one is going to look down on you because you lack faith or anything like that. But if you need to stay home, either because of your own personal physical conditions um, or, any, or anything, just an apprehensive feeling about coming out into public and, and being with people in close proximity, however physically distanced, um, we want you to know that that's okay. It is not a measure of how spiritual you are. And nor is it a measure of how spiritual those who do come to the building. Um, so we need to, to keep that in the forefront of our mind. We will ask, of course, like you, um, like you get asked if you go to the doctors or you have an appointment to keep in town, um, how do you travel outside of the, uh, the country? If you have, please um, do not come. If you have a sore throat, a cough, uh, or a cold, and, and you, you show any kinds of symptoms uh, that might make others feel uncomfortable, even if you think, oh, for sure it's not COVID. No, we're, we're just asking us that we all honor each other in this exercise, to have worship together in this in-between time before we get to a new normal um, as we begin to open up, learn how to do this, um, we just ask us, we, we ask everybody to honor each other. Um, the word tells us to think, don't, not to think more highly of ourselves than we ought to, but with sober judgment to consider ourselves and to honor our brothers and sisters above ourselves. So we want to honor the God that we love and serve and honor our community people in our church family, as well as the community at large that we live in. We do not want to appear to be um, capricious or, or um, overly uh, confident in any way, shape, or form. So um, please, as a leadership team and your board, we ask you to keep this in prayer. Prayerfully, uh, consider all the work that needs to be done. We need volunteers. We need people to help out. Um, it, it's going to take a lot of work to make this happen, um, but we will do it. And, and it will only be by the power of the Holy Spirit working in and through us that we can work together, show our fruit of the Spirit, that we'd be able to work together and accomplish this um, great thing of, we were re getting back into the church. So thank you very much for taking this time to listen uh, and to uh, sit with me to hear uh, how we are planning on moving forward. So as I mentioned in the newsletter, we will let you know if there's any changes to this. This is just a plan on paper right now. We have not yet heard the, uh, or gotten the government guidelines. Um, so there are things we need to watch for. And if there are any changes, we will let you know. God bless you. Have a great rest of your night. And um, we hope to see you on Zoom Sunday morning. Bye now.